Hey, there's something that Odoo does that is somewhat unusual. Is if a customer has a credit on account, it doesn't display that there's a credit on account explicitly on the invoice or on the customer's view in their portal when they're logging in to see their account or on the customer record, on their contact record on the back end of Odoo. This causes some confusion sometimes. So I'm just going to clear up the confusion so that you know how to handle this and how to give your customer confirmation that if they say overpaid you, which in this case we're going to look at a real world example where this customer overpaid because he paid with cash and didn't accept change, instead just put the extra $7 in this case left on account to be applied next time he comes back to purchase something. Let's take a look at what that looks like in Odoo and how it's managed. The way it's managed is simply when the payment was taken, you can see here that this order was $303 in total. And if we look at the invoice that's applied against this sales order, it is in fact marked as paid and it is marked as paid $303 and the amount due is zero. So it looks like the customer handed $303 to us in this case, but when we look at the payment amount here, we can see that actually the customer handed over $310. So what we want to do is head over to that payment. So we know now that there is a $7 balance just based on that simple math and just seeing that the even without doing the math, we can see that the payment was higher than the amount of the invoice when we look at. So it was paid $303, but the actual payment itself is higher. So that's confirmation for us, but for the customer, they may want a record of this. So how do we do that? Pretty simple, actually. What you're going to do is when you're looking at the payment, and again, just to remind you how we got here, we went, we, were, we started at the sales order. We see there's an invoice applied against it. We can see it's paid. We clicked on the payment and we clicked on view. So Odoo is very good at those types of flows where you can just click through until you get to the place where you want to be without really having to look around where to click. Except in this particular case, the button's not right on screen. What we want to do is send receipt by email. So we're going to click send receipt by email. Here we go. You can craft this email, of course, if you want. Edit it before you send it. If you want to take a look at what the customer is going to see, you can see that it says the, your payment here for this invoice amount of $310. So we're letting the customer know, or we're giving them a record of their, of their payment $310. So let's open this file up. You can see that it shows again $303 minus $303 for these invoices. So there's the uh, debit and credit on their account. And the amount due is zero, but the payment amount is at the top here at $310. So it should be relatively easy for anybody to figure it out. It would be nice if Odoo actually explicitly stated that there is $7 remaining on account and that it will be applied on the next invoice, which by the way, it will. I'm not going to demonstrate that in this recording because this is a live account and this is a real account that we're looking at. But rest assured that the next time this customer has an invoice and you're about to pay it, Odoo is going to drop a pop-up in front of you that says this customer has credit on account and let you know that it's going to be applied against the payment. So it'll reduce the customer's payment on the next invoice by $7. There you go. It actually works really well. It's just that that credit on account is not in your face. You'd have to go in and check in some areas where it would be really easy to check if you were an accountant, which you might not be. And the customer probably isn't either. <laughs> All right. Hope that helps. See ya.